U.S. drone strike has killed a key al-Qaeda operative in Syria. U.S. officials say Musa al fadli is the most senior leader, or was the most senior leader, of the Khorasan Group, a collection of senior al-Qaeda members focused on plotting attacks on the U.S. and its allies. A Pentagon spokesman says al fadli was killed in a strike on July 8th while traveling in a vehicle near Sarmada, Syria. There was a $7 million reward out for him. Margaret Brennan joins us from our D.C. Bureau with more on this. Margaret, why is this strike significant? Well, Mohsen al-Fadli, just 34 years old, was believed to be the leader of this elite group known as Khorasan. Um, they were believed to be researching advanced bomb-making techniques, including the kind that would avoid detection by not using metal in particular. Uh, he moved around a lot. The U.S. government believes that he uh, was very very experienced despite being only 34 years old and in fact they think he was one of the very few uh, al-Qaeda leaders or members I should say who had advanced warning of the September 11, 2001 attacks. Um, given how young he was he would have been just in his early 20s at the time that is remarkable uh, but the Pentagon and U.S. intelligence believe that this strike uh, did kill him earlier this month, and that is a very significant blow to the organization. Well, and, and the, you could tell how seriously the U.S. took him with the seven million dollar bounty on his head. Yes, uh, that was a reward for his capture. Now that he has been killed, which uh, it, it's notable, it took from July 8th when that strike happened until now. We're basically at the end of July uh, for them to feel confident enough that he was in fact uh, killed. Now, what we know is that there were reports around July 8th that there was uh, an unmanned drone that carried out an attack on a vehicle that was carrying people with Nusra Group, another al-Qaeda-linked group. So it, it's interesting, and I know it's often confusing for people, all the names we throw around, but it's not just one group uh, that is affiliated with al-Qaeda in Syria. This is such a power vacuum right now because of the ongoing civil war that many groups and many different affiliates have taken advantage of that to really sort of foster uh, some of these planned attacks. And that's what Mohsen al-Fadli, that's why he was a target of the U.S., because they believe he was plotting potential attacks against Europe and against the United States. Margaret Brennan joining us from D.C. Margaret, thank you very much.